Hey guys, on today's tutorial I'm going to teach you how to sign any type of file that you have. So whether it's PNG, PDF, or JPEG, you can sign that, okay? Whether Whatever contract it is, without printing it out. So, um, just turn on your Mac, open up Preview, or just double click on any document you have, make sure you open it up with Preview. So right now I have a PNG right here and a PDF. I'm going to show you with PDF, it's the same thing with PNG. So once you open it up, you're going to see up here, let me just zoom in for you guys. Um, you guys are gonna have to click right here, show markup. So just click on this icon, and you're gonna see all these options. From here, it's pretty easy. All you guys have to do is click right here on sign. Once you click on there, you're gonna see your camera pop up. So, what you guys need to do is sign a piece of paper on the back. Make sure it's clean. This one has words on the back of it, so it's not gonna work 100%. But all you have to do is hold it up. And that's about it. Um, like I said, make sure there's nothing printed. It's just nice and, and clean. Or else you're going to get these dots that you see right here. But it's good to show you guys an example of this. Um, you can also use your trackpad if you don't use the, your camera. So either way, okay, whatever you're comfortable with, whatever you got on your hand. If you have an iMac, then you're gonna, probably going to use this paper. If um, you're on your MacBook Pro, just sign it from there, I guess. Um, or just use your camera. It's the same thing. Uh, a little bit better quality if you take a picture just because it's your signature and uh, people usually get better than on your trackpad anyways once you're done that just click on done and you can just uh, put on create signature and you can add another one if you like or you're pretty much done for that you can just um, pretty much click on this and then you can just drag it to wherever on the document it's supposed to go so let's say it goes here but it's too big I can just drag these ends and make it smaller okay so even if you need initials or something like that on each page you can do that with this okay so like I said you can create another signature yeah you, you don't have to stick with this one you can just all the time click on signature I'm just gonna write down let's say you guys just want initials on a contract that you're doing so this will save you a lot of time and um, money on printing save some trees at least right so I'm just gonna fold this paper up like this and there we go click done so it's a little bit cleaner we can just drag that down oh, I dragged the wrong one down there we go or you can just click on it drag or, cl or click whatever um, and then you can have these on the side and you can scale them to whatever so you could have your initials there. From there, you just have to save the documents. So just go into save or export. Um, it depends what you guys want to do with it. You guys probably want to send it by email. So you guys probably want to share this afterwards. However, I do always recommend saving it. Um, or if it's a JPEG, you can export it as PDF, which is usually better. Now with um, JPEG or PNG, for example, like this one, it's exactly the same thing. Just click up here. You're going to click on signature. And you're gonna choose one of the ones that you have. You can erase them, so I can just erase that one by clicking on the X. Or I can create another one, so I'm gonna create another one. Just to show you guys again how you do this. So I'm gonna fold up a piece of paper, bottom, bottom, hold that up. There we go. So make sure the more white the paper is, the better it's gonna look. Click on done, click on it, and just drag it down here. And it looks legit. Again, what you guys can do is export as PDF. You guys can export it, save it, whatever you guys want to do. And then send it by email or just share it straight out, out of here. Anyways, that's it for this tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down, keep it in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.